New 2017 Sanjiang Rexton SUV revealed ahead of Seoul show. Sanjiang has confirmed that the new large SUV will be called Rexton, and has released a few pictures of the new model. Sanjiang has revealed the new Rexton SUV ahead of its debut at the Seoul Motor Show this week. The new model gets a much more modern look, with a large, wide grille and detailed front fog lights and big headlights. There's no rear shot yet, but we expect it to follow suit with a much improved look over the awkward previous car. Inside there's an updated dash board plus the latest in-car tech such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto displayed on a 9.2-inch screen. There's also an around view monitor to help with parking. A new quad-frame Giga steel body structure is said to improve strength while making the new Rexton a lighter car. It's 4,850 mm long, 1,920 mm wide, 1,800 mm high and has a 2,865 mm wheelbase. It'll be available with rear wheel drive or a 4x4 system, and both new, cleaner petrol and diesel engines are promised. It'll go on sale in its native South Korea almost immediately, with a UK release before the end of 2017 promised. Sanjiang Live 2 Concept Preview's new large SUV The Live 2 is the second limitless interface vehicle concept from the South Korean firm. Under the bonnet is a 2.2-liter diesel engine, but there's also a 2.0-liter petrol version. The fact that this concept car has engine choices shows how close it is to the production Rexton we'll see next week. As well as a sharp exterior, there's also a new interior which shows a step up in quality, and has much more equipment, in line with the steps the brand has taken with the Tivoli SUV in recent years. The Rexton SUV will be next in a succession of new Sanjiang models set to arrive over the coming years as the revitalized company seeks to establish itself as a force in the burgeoning global market for 4x4s and crossovers. Underpinning the new Rexton is an all-new ladder frame chassis that will also form the basis of Sanjiang's replacement for the Corando Sports pickup truck in 2018. Currently known within the company as the Q200, the one-ton truck will share its chassis, front-end styling and interior with the new Rexton. Sanjiang's new focus on design The Rexton's imposing lines are stronger and more defined than before. It's an altogether more confident and distinctive effort than the current Rexton. Sanjiang has shown with its well-received Tivoli crossover that it can now tackle more established brands head-on with the quality of the work that emerges from its Pyeongtaik R&D building and the design team confidently explained how the new look Rexton was inspired by the polar bear and traditional Korean aesthetics. With further influences apparently coming from the Korean mountains, pine trees, the country's traditional art and furniture, it sounds a bit of a mishmash but the end result is impressively cohesive, taking the Tivoli's bold design baton and running with it. The Rexton is a substantial vehicle with slab sides, a vertical, cliff-like nose and those chiseled lines all adding to its considerable road presence. There a hint of Volvo XC90 about the bluff silhouette, a comparison Sanjiang probably wouldn't mind. The roofline slopes away to the rear as on the Tivoli and that car's trademark squared offline above the rear wheel arch is carried over and duplicated over the front wheel. One of the trends today is for cars to have stronger shapes, said Myung Hak Lee, head of Sanjiang's design division. We are looking to create a very modern trendy image. We'll let you judge how successful Sanjiang has been in that when we bring you the first official pictures of the finished Rexton in the run-up to the official reveal in Paris this September. To our eyes though, the Rexton does strong and modern well. Though trendy might be a stretch for any family-sized off-roader with a ladder frame chassis. New Rexton, interior quality stands out. The Rexton cabin is, if anything, more of an eye-opener than the outside. 
The design is never groundbreaking and looks a little like a Mercedes effort from a generation or two ago in places but that's no bad thing and quality levels are instantly impressive. It's the reliance on lots of buttons in addition to the touch screen interface, at a time when rivals are hiding their minor controls in infotainment menu systems, that dates the layout, robbing it of some clean surfaces but it feels generally modern, seems user friendly, and the design is attractive. A choice of leather and wood effect finishes for the dash with an abundance of chrome detailing add to the quality feel and although the plastics lower down on the center console are of a lower grade, they are certainly nothing to get upset about. Highlights include the instrument cluster with its large color TFT display screen between the two analog dials and the particularly large, impressive looking central touch screen. In the rear of the Rexton, Legroom appears decent and the 7 seat option retains a usable boot area, enough for a couple of large hold alls even when all the seats are in use. Of course, fold the two third row seats down, or choose the 5 seat car and you'll have a prodigious boot at your disposal. Rexton engines, gearboxes, and safety tech. The Rexton will get San Jiang's new 2.0 liter GDI turbocharged petrol engine but that unit is unlikely to make it to the UK. Instead it'll be the trusty old 178 BHP 2.2 liter diesel in the current car providing the pulling power. Initially, it'll be the same Mercedes 7 speed automatic as the current car uses too but when the 2.0 liter petrol comes on stream for some markets around 12 months after launch, so will a more modern 8-speed auto also sourced from Mercedes. Although the engine UK buyers get will be unchanged from the current Rexton, the longer, wider chassis of the new model is also at least 50 kilograms lighter. This and the superior aerodynamics of the new bodywork lead us to expect improved fuel economy over the current car's 38.2 mpg, 40.4 mpg if you choose the manual, and further efficiency gains will arrive with the 8-speed gearbox. There'll be a selectable all-wheel drive system while safety technology will include lane departure warning and blind sport detection as well as a full complement of airbags. 2017 Rexton prices to rise but tough 4x4 virtues are a strength. Prices will inevitably rise from the current £23,000 entry point when the new Y400 Rexton hits the UK. Sanjiang Motor UK CEO Paul Williams indicated it's likely that a fully loaded top spec model will come close to the £35,000 level. That would suggest a new starting point of, of around £26,000 is on the cards and there's confidence within the UK team that customers needing a big capable SUV for towing and off-road use will find that still tempting price point hard to resist. I think there's a lot of opportunity with Y400, we will have a relatively modern vehicle in a market where others have moved out, said Williams. And that view was echoed by Sanyang's president and CEO Zhang Sikchoi. Of course the Y400 is a frame type design but as of now, most subs are switching to a monocoque type not a frame type. But that's our strategic model, to build and explore the market as a frame-based SUV. It may be a traditional type of SUV but we put a lot of technology into this model and its major market will be the emerging markets, Russia, China, and South America, so we believe there is still a lot of demand there. And it fits in with our model of being an SUV specialist. The latter frame chassis design of the Y400 might be heavier and less composed on the road than the monocoque chassis favored by most modern SUV makers but it should deliver in terms of durability and, importantly for Sanjiang's existing Rexton customer base formed in significant part of caravanners and those with horse boxes or boats, towing weight. The major potential for the new Rexton may well lie in emerging markets but in the UK options are dwindling for buyers who need a tough 4x4 at a low price. Sanjiang thinks the new Rexton can fill the void while also taking sales from more conventional family-sized subs like the Hyundai Santa Fe on a value-for-money ticket. Meanwhile, the firm is also working on a further option to flesh out its range that will be more in tune with the way the big 4x4 market is evolving. The base for it is a second new monocoque platform in addition to that which underpins the Tivoli and the new Corando, 
C300, that's due in 2019. This front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive D-segment platform is designed to underpin larger crossovers as well as a replacement for the Truismo MPV that we could see before 2020. It'll allow Sanjiang to grow its larger SUV offering with more road-biased alternatives to the Rexton. There are interesting times ahead for the Korean brand.